Good morning and welcome back to the channel. So I'm actually going to try to do something different. I was talking to a friend of mine, uh, Melissa Reynolds over at Missy Journals. Um, she used to be called Do What You Love. I've talked about her many, many, many times on my channel. I absolutely love her. She is a wonderful person. Um, she's just such a bright and enthusiastic and motivating person. I just, I don't have enough words to describe how I feel about her. Um, anyway, I was talking to her the other day and we have come up with something that we want to do. Um, she was talking about how painfully time sensitive and painstaking it is to edit videos. And I even told her, I was like, I don't edit my videos. I've just pushed the record button and pushed the stop button and then I uploaded it all to the YouTube. And as is like, oopsies and uh oh's and all like the bloopers and everything. It's all, you know, I don't know if I really have any main, like major bloopers, if you will, but, um, it's all, you know, it's all there anyway. So we have decided that we, cause I told her I wanted to start making shorter videos and she has talked about how she tries to keep her videos at, you know, right around 20 minutes. Um, but the editing process is very complex. So I was just like, well, why don't you just do what I do and just don't edit your videos. And she's like, do you know how hard it is to get anything done in 20 minutes? I was like, you know what? You're right. It is difficult to get stuff done in 20 minutes, but I think you're up for the challenge. I know I am. So we are going to do seven days of 20 minute videos. What can you do in 20 minutes? No editing, because a lot of times in the craft videos, um, the, the shorter videos are edited down. So something that could take three or four hours, you're only seeing 10 minutes of it. And then you kind of get this misconception in your head that, oh, I can do this in 10 minutes. Well, you can try. Um, but, and then a lot of the, you know, the craft with me videos are 45 minutes to an hour long because well, crafting takes time. So the challenge is, is to come up with things, um, every day, something different to do in 20 minutes and no editing, no anything. It's just a 20 minute video. And if you want to do something else for that day, for the, you know, if you are accustomed to having longer view times, then create a new video. But the goal is to have a 20 minute video. Um, I'm going to go ahead and start mine today, uh, because I don't have anything else planned, but it officially will start on Monday. So we will go from Monday to Monday. So it'll be seven days of, or Monday to Sunday, really seven days of 20 minute videos with Missy journals. Um, I'm going to leave a link to her channel in the description box it will maintain or it will remain in the description box and at least until the end of this particular challenge which will be sunday next week so you guys are seeing this sunday it's saturday evening for me but you guys are seeing this sunday morning so um this challenge will end for us sunday the 29th um is that right? Yeah, that's right. So it officially will start on the 23rd and then it'll go all the way until the 29th. So I'm pretty excited. I want to try to get as many videos done today as possible. And it's actually pretty perfect because we're going to do 20 minute videos. Um, but I'm going to try to get as many done today as possible because tomorrow is my wedding anniversary and we have been married for 16 years. Can you guys believe it? Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. Anyway, um, this video is going to be, I'm going to put it at 25 minutes because it's sitting at four minutes and 40 seconds ish right now. So I'm going to go, I'm going to go ahead and start it. And, um, my clock is automatic with the record timer. So I'm just going to let that be my clock. I'm not going to set a timer or anything. So I'm going to go ahead and go. 
what we're going to do is very, very simple. I'm going to see how many journaling cards I can create. These are out of, uh, this is just packaging. It's recycling packaging. So I found this um, parchment paper that I had used to dye stuff a long, long time ago. And that's pretty loud. But I'm going to start with that. I'm just going to grab one and I'm just going to see how many of these I can do out in the 20 minutes. So anyway, you guys let me know. What do you think? Do you think it's a good idea? Do you think you're up for the challenge? Do you want to join in on the challenge? Let me know. Tag us in a video. Um, if you guys do your own videos or if you just want to do a challenge and you don't have a YouTube, just let me know. I would be interested in to seeing what you guys create in 20 minutes. I think it would be really fun. Okay, I might have to do this with the art glitter glue because this is parchment paper. Yeah, I'm gonna have to do this with the art glitter glue. Oh no. Don't take part of it. There we go. So, E6000 would work too. I guess parchment paper is probably not the best idea, but it's really pretty. And it sounds really cool. So, don't do what I did and just waste a whole bunch of time playing with the wrong type of glue. Know what your glues do and know what they don't do. Not much works for parchment paper. Art glitter glue, I'm pretty sure does. I've, I don't know. I haven't used it. Uh, I know E6000 works. E6000 works on everything. Um, and what was the other one that I know works? Because we did like a whole trial and error, like what works type of thing on a live video way back when, when I used to do lives. And uh, what was the other one? I want to say it was double-sided tape was the other one. All right, so we're going to let that be for a moment. And then we're going to do this side. And I'm just going to do, I'm going to pick a color. I'm going to do blue. Oh, I can't leave this side. I do need to cut it. And I may not even need to cut it. It's pretty crunchy. Don't worry if you have pieces that um, don't cover all the way because I'm going to show you guys what to do with that. Alright, so I just turned my hands black. <laughs> That's hilarious. Alright, just from touching that paper. Oh my gosh, that's crazy. Alright, so now we're going to do the other side. And y'all let me know, uh, I'm not going to do every single video today. I do have a couple ideas of what I want to try to do. Um, but if you have something that you would like to see me try to attempt in 20 minutes, shoot a comment down in the, in the comments and I will do my best. Can't promise you that it'll happen, but I will definitely give it a whirl because I'll try anything once. Because how do you know you can't do something if you don't try it, right? All right, so I'm going to let this dry. I'm going to go ahead and cover another one, and then we're just going to keep going. So we're about five minutes in. Remember, we're going to go to 25 minutes for this particular video because I had to explain what we were doing. Um... And I probably will give like a tiny brief explanation as to what we're doing in each video. That way you guys are um, more accustomed to seeing like what's happening versus, oh my gosh, why is she doing a 20 minute video? It's like, what happened? She's normally a chatterbox. Where, where's her chatter? 
it ran away. All right, so with this one, I actually think I'm going to do a double blue, which I think would be really cool. And how you do that is fairly simple. You're just going to fold it right on over. Make sure that all your nooks and crannies are good and good and got. And I have all that black coming off from the coffee dyed paper. All right, so we've got two more. Ow. We've got two more that I had set aside because my goal is to get these, get four done. And I don't mean like four just covered in paper because I mean, Sure, you can do that in 20 minutes, but what, what fun is that? All right, I'm trying to find things that I will be able to use in my upcoming projects. So I really like this right here, so I'm going to use that. And I'm going to do the same thing with the blue, or that I did with the blue. And I'm just going to flip it right on over. And then we'll probably just do a coffee. So I have a coffee over here too. Oh my gosh, we went, I had to go to the doctors yesterday, right? You know, um, just and nothing wrong, just, you know, um, girly stuff, you know, physical and stuff like that, uh, making sure everything's copacetic. So anyway, um, they had to, um, she had ended up giving me a prescription for um, Wellbutrin, uh, not because of depression. I am fine, by the way, um, but it doesn't hurt me because I am diagnosed with depression. It doesn't hurt at all. So I am able to take it even with my... Um, you know, my issues with my blood pressure or low blood pressure. Um, so anyway, she had, for that, she had prescribed it to me so I could quit smoking. So that is another goal of mine. I figured why go through all of this trouble to be healthy and, you know, like I, I used to be really bad with eating out of boredom. Now, I mean, I was always bad with smoking out of boredom as well, but now I smoke even more because, well, I don't eat out of boredom, so I smoke out of boredom. Yay. Anyway, um, so we had decided, my husband was there with me as well, and um, we had decided that it was time and we're both going to quit. Um, he, he has to go a different route. He cannot do the Wellbutrin. Um, not because he doesn't have, or not because he doesn't have depression, but because he's not allowed to take any kind of medication that alters your brain. And technically Wellbutrin alters your brain because it's an antidepressant. Um, so he has to do it the hard way and he has to do patches and gum, which is fine. It works for him. He has quit before. Um, he actually started back up because of me. Um, I had went through a very, very bad, 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 bad anxiety patch that lasted for about a year and a half and it wasn't any fun for him. So. I mean, it wasn't fun for me. I can't imagine how he felt, you know? And so I'm going to do this. I don't know why I did it this way. Did it all wonka fud. But anyway, it wasn't any fun for me. I know it wasn't any fun for him, that whole episode of anxiety. So he had ended up starting back up again. But 
We know he can do it. We know I can do it. I've quit before. Um, but I have my anxiety better under in check. I say better. It's not perfect, obviously. But it is definitely way better than it has been. And um, I'm going to go ahead and just... Oh, where's my trash bag go? I moved my trash bag because my trash bag normally sits on my scale, but I had to use my scale because I had a couple orders go out and I forgot. And so I went to throw my trash over on my scale <laughs> instead of my trash bag. Um, okay. I don't know if saving that is going to be worth it because it is just kind of crinkly. I'm just going to stuff this on my drawer of paper and I'm going to, let's see, I think I'm going to cover these a little bit and then I'm going to cut them. So we've got a couple things to play with. Um, I did put some more stickers up in the shop, so that's why they're here. Um, I emptied out my, um, my, whatchamacallit, my scrap box. Um, also too, I have not heard from the giveaway winner yet, so, uh, they do have until Monday, um, but if Tuesday rolls around and I haven't heard from them, then I will go ahead and, um, pick a new winner. Um, okay, so we're gonna just start laying stuff down. I'm gonna try to keep it pretty well themed. Um, this one... I'm not sure because I have an idea for that one and I don't know if it's going to, ooh, mushrooms. Uh, that one might work. The pink will work. Uh, ooh, I like this purple. Let's go with the purple on this one instead. Um, these are available. This particular pack that I'm dealing with, I believe is uh oh gosh i don't i don't know if this is set j i don't think it is because i think the more muted colors are set j anyway it's up there it's somewhere because i did just put them in there um so let's hold that for a moment we're going to grab my knife here and there we go Oi. need you blue book all right so i'm gonna go ahead and try to finish at least one of these because we've got about seven minutes left. But we do have at least one, uh, at least four that are ready to go. Okay. And the ones that I've got right now, uh, these are just some rice paper stickers and I am putting some extra glue on them and I think I'm gonna have to redo it because I didn't think about the fact that I'm gluing them on parchment paper so I might have to redo them I'm not entirely sure maybe maybe not and then you could also take your brush and make them dirty. As soon as I find my brush, there it is. And okay. we're gonna change the color because we don't want to keep them that white color, especially with the parchment paper being so dark. All right, 
I think that turned out really well. Take your scissors, trim the edges, and I have a tag punch. It's actually a tag topper punch. And you just go in, and I'm going to line this up. Punch it down, pull it out, cut the ends, and voila. And voila, you have a tag. You could even go a step further and round the corners if you wanted to. Maybe. Could probably round the corners. There we go. You just kind of got to lift that part up a little bit. That's all. All right, there we go. Nice and rounded. So we have one tag that's done. This would be really good in like a, a nature journal, I think. So let's see. Okay, I won't mess with the trash right now. Let's do the coffee one. We're gonna do some pretty ladies. I want to do, let's see, yep. And we're gonna color her up. And if you have um, like homemade ephemera, pre-made, that is an amazing thing for shortening your time in lengthy projects because you can you can buy pre-made ephemera, you can make pre-made ephemera. I do both. I make it and I buy it. Like, I love making and buying both. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put her. She's going to be in the background. She's really, really pretty. But she's going to be in the background because what I'm going to do is I'm going to use some of my homemade ephemera or handmade ephemera. Pre-made ephemera. I'll get it right. All right, so she's down, and she's a stamp. That's what that looks like. Okay, and we've got about three minutes left. Two minutes left. All right, so let's grab you and put you right there. And, okay, that's not going to work. Oi. And then you can cut the top of this again. You can also use um, a punch or any kind of corner punch. If you want to do that, um, you could also um, use scissors. Just cut the corners. That's it. Ugh. Oh, I broke the, oh, it had so much glue right there. I was like, why is it so difficult? But I can fix that. Um, okay. Oh, I'm going to have to get on the ball if I want to try to do this 20 minute whew, video. So let's go and fix that real quick and how we're going to do that is as easy as one, two, and three. All right, so I'm just gonna take this doily right here and pop it right there. And I literally just looked on my desk to see what was there and time is up. All right. So, time is up. 
20 minute video. We got two cards done, two tags done, and stay tuned for tomorrow to see what we're going to do tomorrow. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys are enjoying this 20 minute process. If you've got any ideas, leave them in the box below and I will get back to you guys shortly. So see you in the next video. Y'all have fun.